What's up, guys? Group Perfect here, and this is Everything West Ham, where everything we talk about is West Ham. Um, we've got good news. We do have bad news. We'll be talking about, obviously, the uh, the one all draw with Luton. Uh, I'm not, well, I wasn't really too bothered about this friendly as such, because we've got big news, basically, in the background of it. Um, yeah, it was a one all draw. Um, I will pick out some positives out of the game and some negatives. I, I thought Kurt Zuma got uh, caught out a few times with his position in that game. I know they're a championship team and they did break us down well a few times. Um, we could have easily killed the game off. Uh, Antonio uh, was just unlucky. I mean, a lot of people say it was a, he missed a set out, but I think he was unlucky with the with the um, opportunity of getting that ball in the back of the net when it was rebounded off the keeper. Suchek looks, look, has looked really good. I've noticed now since he's uh, come back, he's got the two out of two, and uh, no one wants to uh, talk about him leaving. But like I said, I think he's up to his game because now he's going to get competition coming in. Um, but yeah, credit the loot, and they'd look really well. I, I would love to see them go up this year. Um, you know, it would be good. It would be good to see another London team, another, I say a rivalry, but every London game is a rivalry with us. Um, but yeah, let's move on to the. The big news and uh, big negative news. So uh, against Rangers, we know uh, uh, Nayef, uh, a, a, a guard, still can't get around to his name. A guard has uh, he could be out up until the World Cup. That could be a huge, huge miss. But then we've still got Ogbonga, we've still got Zuma, and I feel like they're, they're enough for now. Um, late one today. We could hear two players have potentially signed for West Ham. Again, like we said before, Gianluca Scamacca is already in London. He's ready to agree personal terms. By the sounds of it, he might have already done the medical. And then this one really come out of a bit of a blue. I can't see why now because there's already been pictures of him. So they're saying mysterious player, Kostic from uh, Frankfurt, who I felt was... I've, I, I said to him, if I said to him, I say said to him, I said to, to before to us on here, if we were to win the Europa League, we should definitely go in for a player like him. His ability to pass and pick a ball out, and he loves to attack. Bring him in. I think he'd be perfect, even at that left back position or pushing on to uh, attacking left wing. But yeah, they're the two players we could potentially get today. We know we've heard the news of Lingard. Basically, let's put it this way. Yeah, he shows money over us. He's going to now play for a team who's probably going to struggle to win 10 plus games. Maybe get relegated, maybe not. But this was just a payday for him. That's why he's done it for a year and he's going to look for another payday, which is him moving on to the MLS. But um, yeah, talks have died down now of us wanting to go for a Yuri Tillemans. We've still not had... They've, they've stalled. Leo has stalled with this Onana third bid. They haven't rejected it. They have stalled over it. So maybe they're weighing their options. You've got to remember, he's only 20. He's not played that many games for them. He's not like he was the first team player. But there's obviously a reason why we're after him and another few teams are after him. But yeah, like I said, we could be getting Scam Scamacca today. And he could be back for the RC Lens game and for the uh, start of the season. We've got one positive with this if he signs. He's going to be well rested around this World Cup area because Italy ain't in it. But, like I said, he's turned down the likes of Juventus, Arsenal, AC Milan, and he's coming to sign for us. So, he could be the player that takes us to the next level. People are saying, oh, who's going to start over him and Antonio? But let's talk about it this way, yeah? Antonio can play in many positions, and I think he could be better suited if we've got Scamacca up top, if he was to play on the right wing or the left wing, or switch, vice versa, Bowen and that. But, um, yeah, so the next video will probably be before the RC Lens game because I've got a funny feeling we're going to have two signings by then. But, anyway, guys, you know the deal. Like and share and come on, you irons.